Recently, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi began impeachment proceedings against President Trump related to his conversations with Ukraine. There's some confusion as to the actual constitutional process of impeachment. It's actually twofold, like a trial. There's an accusation phase that is made by the House of Representatives. That's actually what impeachment is. And there's a trial phase where the U.S. Senate sits as a jury, hears the charges made against the president, and determines whether it is worthy of removal. A question I try to address in my article is, why have Congress involved in that process at all? In fact, if you look at Federalist 65, Alexander Hamilton gives reasons that maybe Congress shouldn't be. First, he noted that the impeachment process looks a lot like a trial. Trials are usually done by the judicial branch. Why then is the legislature in this process at all? Second, he noted how partisan this can become when Congress is the one adjudicating this decision. So then why have it? Why is the Constitution allowing Congress to conduct and follow impeachment proceedings? Hamilton says it's because it's the best of all the other options. First, generally impeachment proceedings are about a violation of the public trust. Who better, Hamilton asks, than the American people's representatives to make that determination if that trust has been violated? Furthermore, he also says that the House and the Senate, in the way that they conduct this procedure, actually accords well with their own natures. The House, often a passionate body, is charged with accusing the president of crimes. The Senate, which is supposed to be cool and sedate and reflective, is charged with determining whether an actual impeachable crime has been committed. Therefore, we don't know what the result of the process will be, but we can trust the Constitution and the way that it sets out this process for our government and for the American people.